Hello, hello! Hello, hello, and welcome back to me, Rich Perry. Sorry, grab my drink. As I learn Eve and generally try and, you know, do well in this game. So, if you missed the last stream, you didn't miss much, but it was very fun. <laughs> uh, essentially, uh, spent about half an hour, no, hour and a half, with my darling wife Amanda, creating this sultry goddess you see before you, Julie Chenbru. And uh, she's sassy, she is a princess, she's like from the higher caste of society, but she's rebelled against the shackles of uh, nobility to go out into space and become a capsuleer and, you know, do the thing. Do the thing, Julie. <laughs> so, uh, and then I did, like, the first couple of uh, tutorial missions. And, uh, oh, my, my darling wife is calling me. Let me, uh, let me just answer that. Yellow. Okay, I'll be having a sec. All right. Bye. I'll be back momentarily. Man who needs me. When life calls, you answer. So, I'll be back in a minute. See you in a bit. And we're back. Okay. Minor crisis averted. Let's resume. So, let's just jump right back in. Select old Julie and get in on this game. Oh, move in a bit closer so I can oh, be comfy. Okay. So, again, I am running Eve at potato quality so that uh, my old ass PC can actually stream and play the game at the same time. That's I generally the undock option for you. you should generally uh, what I want to do. It station. is still a bit juddery, I do apologize for that. Um, unfortunately, there's not too much I can do about that at the moment. Now I have all the settings on this low and uh, I've tried to tweak the uh, OBS settings to accommodate as well. But the fact of the matter is, if I want to both stream and record this at the same time, then uh, the stream is going to suffer a bit. So I'm wondering if I should not record, but I do want to put this up later on YouTube. But again, I could just export it from Twitch. I've not actually tried that yet. Don't know how the uh, stream actually appears. Don't know if it appears half decently when exported straight from Twitch to YouTube. Don't know. But uh, for now, here we are, and uh, we are just about to undock and go take care of some pirates, I believe. So, chat, let's move you back down here. There you go. Bish bash bosh. And Aura, I guess you can, you can live up here. Now you, why aren't you right up in the corner? There we go. I'm trying to maximize the screen space that I have, so let's go and undock. Oh, and then you can abort undock if you've done that by accident. Alright, fair enough. 
Okay, so... I have calculated the location of the nearest pirate outpost. You should now click on the location marker icon in the info panel. I will, when the rest of the game appears. There we go. Hello, game. Gah. Game is uh, somewhat sizable, so I can just click that and bosh. Ah, it will just automatically point me towards it and. Ah! Good. It will automatically point me towards where I need to go. Happy days! Let's, let's just do that, I guess. So I'm just trying to make my way through the tutorial missions. And uh, I may. Hmm. 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 Hmm, he says. I am contemplating just stopping the recording and then exporting it straight from I Twitch to YouTube. Your combat odds to be within an acceptable level of safety. Okay. However, I did not anticipate the presence of corrosive gases in this area. If you get caught in a gas cloud, your ship will start taking damage. In that okay. case, you should use your afterburner and burn through the cloud to get out as fast as possible. All right. Also remember that you can use your repair module should you take damage to your ship, which you likely will. All right, thanks. So, where am I trying to get to? Ah. Captain, you should now approach the highlighted asteroid colony and activate your afterburner. I have calculated this to be the shortest route through the gas cloud. So how do I see that there is a gas cloud that I'm going through? Like, where do I see that? Hmm. Right, well, for now, approach this bad boy and activate me afterburner so that I blast straight through. Remember to activate your repair module when you take damage and switch right. it off again when you have repaired successfully. Okay. So I gotta watch if I start taking damage, then, uh... Yeah, all seems fine. All seems fine at the moment. Still just after burning through to this asteroid colony. As soon as I start taking damage, I will activate that repair module off. Okay. So I think we're going to do this mission, and then I will restart the stream. Yeah, I think I'll restart the stream with the video recording off. So that might, ooh, I've taken damage. Okay, activate, activate that repair module, oof. Captain, there are a lot more pirates than I predicted. Okay. But I know you can do this. Remember your training. Bet your ass Approach, I can do this. Look, orbit, shoot. Okay, so, approach. Let's approach that bad boy. I can't lock yet. All right. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. This is uh, bad news bears. I am happy that I have this repair module. Okay, so I'm still waiting to uh, lock. I need to get a bit closer. I can't remember the effective uh, lock distance. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to try and stop the uh, video recording of the stream and see if that improves the quality of the stream. That would be nice. Aha, lock target, here we go. So, lock on. Come on, lock on. There we go. I'm going to move you over here because you're kind of in the way where you are at the moment. And let's go orbit at 1000. As soon as I start doing that, I will start firing. Oh, missed Oh, good, good. I'm actually getting some hits on him. Wonderful. You know? Right, good stuff. Come on, let me just take you down to the Paradise City. There we go. Aha, more. Okay, so approach that bad boy. Where are you? You are... Which one am I approaching? I think I'm going after this guy. Oh, my stream is currently a slideshow, so I'm very sorry for that. I'm going to uh, try and sort that out in a bit, once I'm not, you know, wrestling with pirates. Hmm. Okay, so... 
Can I? No, can I? Can I lock on? Can I lock on? Any minute now, 25, lock target. Okay, so it seems to be about 25k. Okay, you're locked. Why am I why am I actually engaging that? That is stupid. Orbit, 1000. Okay. Got it. Now start firing. Give it a go. Yeah, I'm missing a lot, but no. Oh, he hits me, but I don't hit him. Come on. That's unfair. Okay, right. Good, good. We're actually getting some hits in now. And that other guy. Can I lock on you and also orbit you at a thousand meters? And I'm locked, so let's start firing because I am well within range of you. Okay, this I can probably turn off until I take some more damage. I am now taking damage. I should have turned that off. I am stupid. Yeah, I can turn off. God, there's more. Okay, right. So you, uh, let's go and approach you. I am kind of still using my uh, afterburner. Okay, which one am I going after? This guy? Yeah, this guy. Okay, Clone Jacker Punk. Fair enough. Well, let's lock onto that bastard. And also orbit at 1000. And let's start firing. See if I can get some hits on him. Not yet, not yet. Come on, he hits. Come on, how am I still missing him? There we go, get him nice and close and that should absolutely obliterate him. Okay, let's turn on my repair module because I've taken some damage. Alright, let's go right. After this, I will lock on to you and whoop, orbit you at a thousand. Do not stop firing. Oh, where are you? I think you're up here, aren't you? There you go, there you go. You know, it's all going rather well, actually. So, let's go in and orbit that guy as well, but also, if you have a lock on. Come on, lock on. Lock on, there we go, good, and fire. Good. Oh wow, this place is actually quite cool. A little uh, meteor, like, mining facility or something. Quite cool, quite, quite cool. I mean, it'd be cool if you guys could see it too, but, uh... Okay, stop the ship. I have highlighted the container you need to approach. You should loot its contents, and then return to station. Okay, so tell you what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to... Um... Ha! Open that guy's cargo. I'm going to go loot all the corpses. Well, I guess I'm going to get the ears, get the resource, get him, and then work my way out to the, uh... ones that are further away. Okay, so stop that ship, uh, loot all, okay, and you, why don't I get you as well, since you're what I'm actually here for, oh uh, yeah, there you are. Hmm. So yeah, once I do this, I'll then um, jet back to the uh, station, let's uh, stop that ship. I can't just Click keep going. on the location marker icon in the info panel to dock at your HQ. Will do, but I will do that once I've looted everything here. So once I go back to HQ, I will stop the stream entirely, restart the stream, uh, but this time not recording, and hopefully that will actually help uh, the quality, because... This is insane. Okay, I can turn that off as my shield is slowly recharging and I'm not taking any damage. The damage. Okay, I got room to stop the ship. I don't want to just keep going and uh, fly off into nothingness. Okay, here we go. Stop the ship. Loot all. I assume it's all just going to be metal scraps, but I'd rather have it because any leg up at the beginning of the game is a good one. Which includes these very generous donations from uh, Sigmic and Ahura and Soren from the last stream. So really, thank you to those guys. Seriously. Oh, 
right. There are shortcuts here. That's quite cool. Okay. That's quite nice. I'll, I'll have to remember those there. It might be a little easier than uh, right-clicking down here and then going through one menu, but not bad. Not bad. Okay, so I got this one, this one, and then this bugger over here to loot, and I will head back. Oh, yes, I know you want me to, Doc, but I'm not going to yet. Good. All you and you. Let's open you as well. Hmm. I'll have to play around and see which one I prefer, right-clicking or uh, using those. All honesty, I'll probably end up just right-clicking, won't I? Because right-clicking is God in this game. Okay, stop. And there's a final one. There you are. Right. And open cargo. Good. Where are you taking me? We are going this way. Ha, ah, over here. Good oh. Then after that I'll click on dark and we'll go back. And then uh, as I say, hopefully I can sort out at least some of the uh, stuttering on this stream. That'd be nice. We can hope. We can hope. Mmm. Big old cup of sweet tea. Yeah, it's one of the things I've learned about uh, America, is, and especially the South, is sweet tea is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Okay, come on. Oh, we're slowly getting there. I am using my afterburner, so shield recharge takes a while. I have to train that up. Speaking of, I was training something. Ah, mining four. So I've still got twenty hours of left of that, but I can put in another, uh, another one, so I can hopefully better at that. Wait, oh, open cargo. I think I clicked approach rather than open cargo. Okay, good. Let's dock. Then click dock. And then we'll just point you towards where I need to go. Ah, right, towards this little cluster of stuff. Okay, good oh. Bush. Bosh. Now so going through warp. Back to me home base. Which I assume is this one, Sistuvet 5. Yeah? He says, hesitant. Alright, good. And let's dock. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Oh, good. Thank you. That's the way you deal with pirate scum, recruit. I'm impressed by your diligence. Not only did you eliminate them all, but you also recovered materials that could be put to use in service of the Federation. You should get some advice from Aura on self-reliance and industry in New Eden. Building that analyzer from those materials will be the perfect test run. Captain, industry jobs are the Capsuleer's way of manufacturing goods for himself. Okay. They can be a path to great wealth if you hone your industry skills. All right, fair enough. You should now have the materials to start production of the data analyzer unit for your upcoming reconnaissance mission to the research facility. I have calculated this to be important. Sounds important. To build this module, you'll first need a data analyzer blueprint, which you can buy from the market with your ISK. Right. Okay. You should now right click on your ship in the station and select open cargo hold. Oh, when open you cargo. Right click, select all to highlight all the items in your cargo hold and then click and drag them to the inventory tab marked item hanger. Okay. Oh. Uh, select all. And, including the old scientists and survivors, put them in the item hanger. Okay. The Done. funds you received are awarded in ISK or interstellar credits. This is the main currency of New Eden and can be used for everything from buying supplies to bribing other capsuleers. Okay. I have highlighted your wallet. You can view your ISK balance there. 
Remember to close all windows when you are finished using them. Yes, I uh, learned about my wallet in the last stream when I got these very nice donations last time. You should open the awesome. highlighted market tab and use the search functionality to find civilian data analyzer blueprint. Civilian data analyzer blueprint. All right, fair enough. So market tab, which is this one, fair enough. Alt R. Aha. Once you have located the item, you should click on it to view the active cell orders. Locate one from the list that says it's available in this station, then right click and buy. All right, so I am looking for a civilian data analyzer blueprint. So I assume I could just go through and down all through these. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do civilian data analyzer. I think. Aha, civilian data analyzer blueprint. Good oh. So, station, we are in. This one, Sistivert 5. Oh, wow. What are people buying these? So, I'm going to guess this. these are like the NPC sold ones, since they're all very standard price. That would make sense. Okay, so, let's buy one of these. Buy this. Just the one, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, it's above the national average. I'm not happy about that. In your item hanger, locate the Civilian Data Analyzer Blueprint. You can right-click on the blueprint and select Use Blueprint. This will open the Industry window. Here, you can see the blueprint you are using in the middle of the window. Okay, so, item hanger. Bosh, right there. Haha! -ha! So, blueprint, if I use the blueprint, I assume... Ooh. To the left, you can see the materials that will be used from your item hanger, and on the right, you can see the output, which will be your brand new civilian data analyzer module. You should now select Start. This will start the manufacturing process. You looted enough materials from the pirate outpost to make a second civilian data analyzer at a later point. Hmm. Your blueprint original lets you create unlimited analyzer modules. Provided you have the required materials. Right, so I have the recipe, I can make as many of these as I need, as long as I got the materials. So over here are the materials needed. Oh yeah, so I have, you know, double the amount that's actually needed. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So if I hit start, it says it will start making one. Recruit. Your preparation might seem unrelenting, ah, but you'll be thankful it is. Good. Okay, cool. I'm insisting on maximum readiness because I'm about to send you into a situation with almost no intel. Oh, it's all going Sisters in the tutorial. The research outpost has gone completely dark, and we need you to get out there and find out what's gone wrong. Professor Tanner has asked to speak to you. Get whatever intelligence you can from her, okay? Right. I'll connect her to you now. All right, Fleek Commander. Captain, I specifically requested you for this recon mission to our research outpost. I had to push this all the way to the Federal Intelligence Office's naval section. Okay. The truth is, Captain, is this outpost hides an important secret. Oh. Perhaps more important than the secretive Commander Terrell realizes. Oh, really? There are few people I can trust. And I suspect Terrell is a member of the Black Eagles. The Federation's most ruthless covert operations. Well, this just keeps getting more and more the interesting. The relationship with the Sisters of Eve has been strained, to say the least. You, on the other hand, plucked me from a burnt-out wreck. And I feel that I can trust you. Captain, Fine. it seems you are cool. making some intriguing and influential friends. Yes, I am, Your right. next journey will be a little longer than any you have undertaken in the past. The research outpost is one jump from our present position. That means that to get there, you will need to jump through a stargate. Ooh, okay. Along the way, many humans enjoy reflecting on the beauty of the cosmos and report feelings of tranquility and wonder, especially in advance of potentially life-threatening situations such as our current mission. Hmm. No recruit in your position has been allowed to travel this far or use the stargates. If you become a capsuleer, you can travel to the deepest sections of low sex space, hunt for wormholes, or travel with friendly fleets through stargates. 
Okay, cool. Oh, good. That's uh. Captain, your civilian data analyzer is now ready. You should open the highlighted industry window, select the jobs tab, and click deliver. Okay, so if that, let's let's do it the way that she says. So see when I close this, close that. So go industry. Oh, so this is just the industry window. Okay, cool. And then select, <clears throat> excuse me, jobs, and deliver. Cool. The module will now be in your inventory Oof. under item hanger. Ah, so if I open inventory, item hanger. Ah, there he is. Good. Time to get that module fitted to your ship. Right click the civilian data analyzer and fit to active ship. Okay, fit to active ship. That uses it up. Now, you are fully fitted for the research outpost. It's time to undock. Will do. But first, I am going to just very quickly stop and restart the stream. But this time, I'm not going to be recording the stream at the same time because uh, I know that the my machine is old and terrible as it is, and uh, it does the stream does judder along while I'm running this. But hopefully, if I'm not recording at the same time, the CPU can actually you know handle a bit more. So. I'll be back, quite literally, in a matter of seconds. So I will see you in just a bit. See so, yeah. ya.